As y'all can see, I started my lock journey. But this video is not about me. It's about Baby hey. Natural and her hair growth journey. So we're going to give you guys a little update on everything with her natural hair journey. Brown sugar baby 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 What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have baby natural here. Mama, can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I know it's been a minute since you guys have seen us. As y'all can see, I started my lock journey. But this video is not about me. It's about Baby hey. Natural and her hair growth journey. So we're going to give you guys a little update on everything with her natural hair journey. And where we are, she is nine months old. Can I see her? Okay, okay. You want to hold this one? Look. Okay, well, she is nine months old, and we're going to just show you guys. I'm going to kind of go back and forth between just old photos and videos. I've, I've been keeping up with her hair journey, so I'm going to go back and forth between some things and just show you guys what we used and what we did to get her hair at this length and to be healthy as it is. I consider it as pretty healthy, and yeah. She was, my one, she was my baby girl that came out with the least amount of hair. So Naomi was the one that had, she had the most amount. And then Nixia, they all had, they all pretty much had hair, the most hair, like, like more hair in different areas. Like Naomi had a lot of hair at the back when she was born. Well, she had a lot of hair at the back and the front. Nixia had a lot of hair at the front. And this baby, she had um, a pretty good amount of hair at the back, mostly. You know, it's inevitable for it to come out. It's, it's going to fall out. They lay on it and friction pulls it out. And yeah, so I feel like for her journey, she has definitely not lost any hair, especially at the back where she rubs, rubs it out. And yeah, so we're going to be, I'm going to be going back and forth between different videos. Uh, I've been recording and recording her hair growth journey because I get so many questions about how, how do you keep their hair so healthy and blah 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 so I said I'm going to record this baby's journey this is going to lead from day one since she was born I'm going to tell you all the things I've done from the day that she was born all the way up until now and so yeah so I'm going to style her hair and we'll be going back and forth between things so yeah okay we got to do nation gang though hold on nation gang yeah say it mama say nation gang yeah Nation gang, yeah. Nation gang, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get right into it, you know. So, so for this, the, for the, so for the style that I'm doing today, we're going to be using some of our own products, which is the hair growth oil. I always use this on her hair now that she's up in age. We're gonna be using the, the hair growth oil. We're going to be using the edge control, our organic brown sugar edge control. And yeah, we're going to do a little style. So, you want to hold it, Mama? Okay. She's probably going to get kind of hungry between this video, so I'll give her some snacks. We're going to have some little clips. I, I'm, I don't know what style I'm going to do, honestly, but we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, so here's a video of when she was born. This is at the hospital, fresh out the womb, maybe a day old. Um, so she had a good amount of hair when she was born. Like I said, um, she had more hair at the back than she did at the front. Some babies do that. They don't have a lot of hair at the front um, or in different areas. They Some people call it uh, cow leaked or like, I don't know. But she didn't have a lot of hair at the front. And so had a spot i will add a clip here a photo she had a spot from when she was in my womb and um her heart rate started to drop while i was in labor so they had to do a vaginal um they had to do a vaginal monitor so they attach it to her head vaginally so when they did that it's like a little 
little electric node they put on their head and it tracks her heartbeat. And so when she was born, they pull it off. Well, when they pulled it off, I noticed that she had a little spot um, of like a missing hair spot. So that's what that was from. And that is completely gone using oils and things like that. So I'm just parting her hair here. I think I'm going to do like one ponytail up and three braids at the back. Okay, so this next clip, um, this is when she was at her two-week appointment. I think we had a two-week doctor's visit. And as you can see, that's her hair. And um, so what I started to use when, she, when we first got home was... Um, natural oil so like olive oil coconut oil um it's another oil that you can use that's natural and the reason i did not use our um our hair growth oil is because babies you don't really know their allergies and so that's why we recommend that you wait until the baby is at least like six to twelve months so this next clip was recorded on April 17th, 2021, which would make her, she was not even a month yet. So yeah, um, she was holding her head up and I did a lot of tummy time and that does help also with like making sure they don't rub out the back of their, the hair. Here's another clip of me just combing her hair. It's really important to make sure you are like massaging the follicles very gently um, when you're applying your oils and things like that to their hair. So those little white little flakes that you see, that is the start of cradle cap. And it's very important to get a hold of this as early as possible. Okay, so here's the finished look. Oh my gosh, she's the prettiest little thing. So um, we're just going to add like the accessories. I'm going to add the hair growth oil from our company now that she's of age to um, the back of her hair and throughout her scalp. And yeah. So here's a video of her at about three months and she has on a silk bonnet, which is from nourishllc.com. And this is something that I highly recommend because even when I did lay her on her back, which some babies do love, I always kept a silk satin scarf or bunny on her head to help with friction. So I'm adding the hair growth oil from nourishllc.com. And like I said earlier, this is recommended for ages six to 12 months and up. Um, yeah, I've been using this since she was six months on her hair, adding the oils between washes and even after I wash her hair because it helps lock in and seal the ends and help her scalp stay moisturized throughout, um, you know, our time between washes. So that'll be it for this video. Um, the main things that I kind of went over was using oils when the baby is first born. And then um, also I wash her, I started washing her hair after she was at home at least once a week. So once a week I washed hair and I add the oils. Then as she got older, I started to use our oils on her hair. Also the protective bonnet, that is very important. But guys, our hair is our crown. And you know, we come from a long line of women that use hair and braiding and different things for a lot of things in our culture so hair is important to me it's important to my children and if it's important to you then take these steps and I'm pretty sure if you take these steps and you know you also apply your own better judgment then their hair will flourish and even if it does not give you the results the hair will come in and everything will be okay so thank you guys for watching and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you.